you print your object that replicates the exact size of it, then you need, it's best to scale it within Agisoft Metashape. So to scale it, to scale your object, if you do not have targets to go off of with predetermined measurements, you can scale it based upon features you find on the object by finding um, discrete locations that you can put markers and you can put a scale between those. So I'm looking at a historical object and I'm trying to find discrete locations on it that I can also match up on the real object that I can measure across. So I'm seeing this dot, dot here, so I'm going to place a marker here. And then on the object, I can see this dot, and I'm going to put another dot here. So using calipers on the object, I'm measuring the distance between those two points. And I'm also looking off the computer screen to make sure I find the two points on the object correctly. The measure I got is 43.88. Okay, so to put the scale you go to reference and highlight the two markers then you right click and click on create scale bar and then under distance you put 43.88 the measurement that you got then you hit tab to um, save it so now you have a uh, your first scale so it's best to have scales as wide as you can go across the object and also um, in two different loc or in two different directions that are perpendicular to each other. So we got one, so now I'm going to try to find two more discrete points on the object going vertically this way that I can match up on the object. So I am seeing this big white patch here. And I do see that on the object, so I could pick the center of it. And then I need to find another one down this way. I am seeing this little white um, streak coming out here, and I see the end of it on the object. So I could put one here and one here for my vertical scale. So I'm going to right click again and add marker. And then right click again here, add marker. Now I'm going to measure my caliper on the actual object and see what that distance is between those two points. got a measure of 45.81. So again, I can select the two new points, right click, create scale bar, and then I'm going to put 45.81 for the measurement. Um, also note, like it says distance and it's in meters, the calipers are measuring it in millimeters. Um, and normally, when I've adjusted it before to get it in millimeters, you have to move the decimal point over to get it in millimeters. But when it comes out, when you export it out as a, a print object, in millimeters, it's way too small. So I'm not sure why this discrepancy um, between meters and millimeters. But if you put exactly the millimeter measurement you got within here, it exports out correctly to the, the correct scale. So to use the, to um, calibrate the, um, um, your scaled object now, so you go to, you just hit this little tool actually. And so now it's, um, it refreshes and now it's um, scaled correctly. 
And now if you want to take measurements off the object as well, um, you could hit the little ruler tool. And if you want to measure this distance from here to here, it's going to tell you the correct measurement, 48.3 millimeters. And so you can now take measurements off the object since it's scaled properly.